Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode challenge. We are in Alaska. Hopefully you didn't miss the first episode of Alaska. If you have, pause this one, go back watch the first one. Because we are making moves, we are pushing on. We have our Lodestar, which is an absolute beast. Having a lot of fun with that. We've tuned it up to the nines. We've already been out and rescued the, uh, the Royal BM-17. Uh, but that's going to sit there for a little bit longer because we haven't finished our scouting mission. So we have a lot of scouting to do. Lots to go and see. Uh, well, I'm not in the top up field. We're all right. So let's just head on. Head on out. Do we need to go that way? I'm just trying to think. Let's have a look at our map. I'll show you what we've uncovered so far since we've uh, we were quite productive last time out. Um, the bridge is marked up, but we're not going to do the bridge. That's how we are scouring. So we are going to... Uh, we might take this back road, actually. Why not? That's, that's a pain in the ass. Uh, we'll take the back road. We might go and trigger bags on ice as well. I think that's that'll put some stuff down here for us. So that'll be for picking up later. So let's go and do that. Let's go and get things started. I believe we're starting a little bit late. I didn't check the time yet because we were fiddling with the uh, the truck. So this may be a shorter episode. So we're going to try and uh, finish around about seven to try and give us a little bit more morning daylight because it goes so quick. Especially this is nearly nine now. That last episode was a bit longer than normal. Our Lodestar is the modded version, the uh, JMB Lodestar. Uh, just a few extra little tweaks on it, and we do get to put studded tyres on, which is awesome. It gives us the, uh, the fuel on the route track. We've got fuel and parts. We've got fuel and parts in the back, although most of the parts are gone from trying to fix up the uh, the Royal I wanted to get that out early we have already triggered two fuel delivery jobs and um, obviously we've not done them because we want to try and save some fuel Especially since I've only left 97 litres of fuel back in Michigan. We have no fuel to bring through. Well, we've got 20... not 20... Is it 20? 1,000? 2,000. Two, yeah, 2,000. 2,000 litres of fuel in a trailer on the back of our fuel truck. So that's it. 2,000 litres of spare fuel. But there is a fair bit of fuel here in Alaska, so if we can be efficient should be all right so i'll just have a little look they'll they should now be uh, yeah is it just the two it's just the two so we could even go and grab the bm quickly and sort of finish that job off at some point that'll probably be the uh, the royals first job if i remember So yeah, that little bit there, it doesn't look too threatening. But sometimes that can be a right pain in the backside, especially if you've been going for quite a session and um, you churn it up a lot. And in Michigan, our tracks remained churned up for quite a while, if not the whole time, of us doing our, our jobbies and our run. So over here we have our logging station. We'll get to that near the end. I don't think there's a spare fuel trailer here. But we can purchase fuel there. Fuel for deliveries and fuel for other things. I think we get a job here. I forget what this one is though. Stuck in the mountains. Oh, I remember the first time I did this one. Oh, 
Uh, we've got an emergency group of scientists went into the mountains on an exploration. They must have gotten trapped after the storm. There's a reward for anyone that can find it and return them safely. Was it this one that got me? I can't remember. Oh, I'm not tracking it, am I? Let's have a look. Yeah, that truck. Oh. I don't even think the, the video of that even exists anymore. My angry, the first, the very first Snow Runner series I did, I think, has been vaulted. I got, I got stuck up there. So long. Like, I... Every spruce tree that I could get snagged on, I got snagged on. I just could not move. I couldn't pull anything. There's a... Upgrade down here. Yeah, it was brutal. It was brutal. I, I swore so much. And I think I was up there with... Um, my... Uh, CK as well. So this is a bit, uh, the this is the engine I wanted for my Royal. It's a little less powerful, but it is more fuel efficient. That's the one I wanted. So shall we go and get that vehicle for stuck in the mud? Shall we go and do that? We should be much better now than I was then. If I can make sure I go in the right way. Get up there. Just get up there, lad. Oh, it was anyone that's still following me now from back then. Let me know if you saw that or remember seeing that episode or or what have you, because that was brutal. I can't even remember what's the safe way back now. Probably back the way we came. And not the way that I went that very first time. Let me have a little look. Yeah, I think I should have just come through and down there. But I think I tried to go through the trees and I, I just... Oh, it, was, it was... It was horrific. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can something going this way. We've got a bigger truck now anyway, we can just plow through stuff. Yeah, trying to rescue this with my CK back in the day <laughs> was a new way. <laughs> uh, whereas now now that we're not stupid <laughs> Yeah, I spent 40 minutes in them trees the very first time. <laughs> oh, the embarrassment. So another another job done. Another win for the bad guy. <laughs> Quick and easy number, that one. Quick and easy. Thank you very much. You are more than welcome. 1,600 credits in our pocket. What level are we at, anyway? Still at 21. Though. Okay. That's not progressed to improve much. That'll probably be telling us about metal beams. Let's see if we can host about a little bit. Try and make some some movements. Right. So to our right. We turn the map back round the right way. That'll take us up and yeah, we'll go up and into the centre and then we'll 
probably come back out or cut through somewhere. We've got the trailer park job there as well. Pretty much all that covered, isn't it? Um, yeah. Let's go in there. Let's go hit up the oil rig. Or well, the oil rig. This is the might be the oil refinery. Come on, you can get through here. This is tight. At some point, I will try and pull a trailer through there, and you know, you'll probably hate me for that as well because that'll take forever. But sometimes fighting with those two rocks is still quicker than trying to winch yourself through the mud that's over on our left. Along the other, it's got a parallel track. Uh, the other one is just all mud, but it's for, for wider vehicles. You can see my scout could barely get through there. So when I try and pull something with the BM or possibly the White Western. Remember I already, I've already said I know it's too big and I will still do it. So here we have a timed challenge which is going out and hitting four points out there if I remember right. If I come out of the trigger I might be able to Mark it up. No, we have to. There you go. So we might. Should we try and get that crack? We sh should be able to force our way through some of them trees. If not, there's a narrow part there. You'd have to do them in any particular order. Well, that could be a nice, easy one to try and knock off. I mark these up because I do struggle with seeing things. But this could also be where I get my first roll. Just trying to think where the where the narrow point in the trees was. I'm sure, I came around here and saw trying to hoss through because it's still pretty dense there, isn't it? Yeah. Should we give it a try and uh, just hope we don't roll? not, we'll be paying for a recovery pretty early. Because the BM won't get up there and get it. Again, we don't necessarily have to hit the record gold times, but it would be nice. One of them things. I'm sure you can sort of get through yeah. Maybe not there. There we go. Right. So we're trying to hit our marks. Numero uno. Yeah, that was always going to happen, wasn't it? Right, let's check this bit. And again, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have got an autonomous winch, but that's not going to help us with our, our tart. Of course, it's going to grab the tree that's going to fall over. Why wouldn't you grab the good one? I need to remember to use my winches more to uh, stabilize me here as well, because there's lots of slippery, craggy. Not just on this little jobby, but in general in Alaska. Let's 
So yeah, we're probably looking at a silver already. <laughs> Come on, fall over for me. You need to go. Let me say no visit. Oh, there we go. We got one. Oh dear. Anything at all. That's embarrassing there, isn't it? Is that the roof of this? The roof of the truck that's connecting to. Oh dear. And now I've run out. I should have put a longer one on. Should have put a longer one on. Who's that? Is it, oh, that's naughty, isn't it? How naughty is that? That's proper naughty. Oh, dear. Yeah, I rolled all the time whenever I've done these. Um, oh, of course I'm going to lose it. Okay. Two grand. Yeah, whatever. All right, leave the garage. I just come to accept that I'm going to do stuff like that now. Um, we'll leave that alone. We'll come back to that another day. So, we're going to head out a different direction. Probably. To try and continue on. We want to try and get to the... Um, where were we going? We were going... Oh, let's just give it all that. I'm trying to get to the... Shoot out that way. Well, that's yeah, we'll go that way. We'll go that way. Turn around. There are two, three, I think, of jobs like that. Little con contests where you have to hit those points over the peaks, and yeah, I, I roll a lot doing it. But there's also a job in a river somewhere along here that I really struggle with as well. But we will do our best to 100%. Because that's, you know, the goal. I just, yeah, I struggle with so many of the little contests on this map, or in this region. It's silly. That one's the one, that one was normally one of the easier ones though. I can't lie. Is this the track I want? No. I don't know where he came from before. I've already forgotten. It's because we're not doing my in-head planned route because I I'd forgotten initially where we were going to go and do the, as soon as we arrived. Because I planned my route route out months ago in my head. This will eventually get us to where we wish to go. That's the um, little trailer thing. Not the wrong way already. Already, look. I'm going to go down there. Wasting time. And we've already wasted two grand. Ah, oh, while I was in the carriage, I probably should have put the longer. The longer winch. Oh, there are things that. Yeah, there was a, a, the enhanced autonomous, weren't there, that comes with. That's what I should have put on to start with. Messing about. Should have put that on. Next time we go to the garage, I will. Because if not, I will probably struggle to complete them ones by tipping over all the time. Right, so from here, I'm going to have to keep chopping into the map. I do apologise. Looking round. 
because we don't want to just drive through what we've already driven through so we might as well take a different route and check to see whether there was any upgrades out here because like I said I can't remember where they all are it's quite a vast space for there not to be one at all would be a little bit weird I think but there doesn't appear to be one As always, I apologise for my uh, dodgy camera angles. I just like to have a little look around. Not always great for content viewing, I know. <laughs> Flick around about. What's over there? What's over there? What's this does? Nice views. So we have the drilling site. We've got oh, we've got an upgrade here. So there isn't an upgrade out there at all. We've got we done on the map. There we go. Right, yeah. So the oil tank supplies there. We've got abandoned supplies. That's a trailer we just need to pick up. Um, lost tube. The abandoned supplies go there. Find the radio station. Upgrade out here. We're going to go, we'll go collect the upgrades and we're going to move this fuel trailer a little bit as well. That'll be a job to come and pull a pipe out of that bit of river soon as well. That's a fun one, because you have to get a full-slot trailer down here. And I think they only come three and five. But there's our sort of purchase load point here. A fuel trailer. I believe that's ours to keep as well, and then the upgrade is just up ahead. Again, the very first time I came here, I tried to do all of this sort of scouting stuff with the CK. So we now have um, a better engine for the, the twin steer, the 6900. Yeah, so the first time I did the the Hummer business as well, I came down here to get it. I think, I think I came down here and then went and got the the Fleet Star because yeah, I love the Fleet Star. That's a perfect job, a perfect truck for Alaska. Come back through, then drove around and yeah, and, and I think I said last episode like pulled it all the way along the pipeline because I didn't know the dirt track routes and stuff like that. We come down here for a few things, so the fuel will stay here. I'm just going to move it. Just so it's easier to snag as we come through and come round, rather than all the way out the way. And we will naturally take some. Not that we need a lot. Excuse me. My coffee is repeating. So, next up, we are, because we were going to head around this way, so we'll go back up, and we're going to come across, and we shall trigger whatever we need to trigger on these parts. don't think there was anything else there, was there? No, there's a job on here. There's a job for fossing around these hills as well. I think that's the easier one. 
but we'll trigger that when we uh, when we deliver the the fuel trailer. So when that'll get done. I am annoyed that we rolled on that jobby, but fully fully expected it. But still annoyed. <laughs> More annoyed that the autonomous winch was useless. We could tear out of reach of everything. Go on, patch in them anchors from uh, expeditions. Give us the anchors. And the ability to uh, Retract and extend our winches. Patch that over. Give us those two features from expeditions. Not worried about the drone or any of that stuff. Just the anchor. I don't want the um, the upright. Just want to be out. Yeah. Have an anchor. Pull myself up. make it expensive. I'm surprised someone hasn't found a way to well they may have but I just don't know about it but I haven't found a way to mod that in yet the anchor. So there we have the task to find the radio station your skills come in your skills come highly recommended. Our scientists have spotted an abandoned radio station, but the path is quite treacherous. Can you find the safe route up there? And that is... There. Which is a route back in from that watchtower. That watchtower that we haven't hit. I'm getting confused. I was thinking that was near that watchtower. So yeah, we've got a watchtower to hit there as well, yeah. But we'll um, trigger those as well. Bet I can just drive through that snow. I'll be quicker than going out and around, I think. As long as I can fit through the trees, we're good. Nope, nope, nope. Don't mind me. Just got to trash your house and your garden and everything else. There we go. So that's the uh, the cargo trailer. It's out there. I reckon you just take a shortcut right across there. We'll trigger the lost tube as well, which will be the one that then lands in the river. So up and around, so we want to try and get to that watchtower and then we'll try and um, get those other bits. Let's say there was a, an upgrade as well, wasn't there? We'll get that from round in the garage. Yeah, we'll do that from, not the garage, but from the, the factory. Lost service trailer there as well. Gateway up there. Just trying to re-familiarise myself as well all the time when I'm looking in there. Where was that going? Abandoned supplies. We can grab that actually. We can do that. We can do that. That one we can do. Should get a drive through the river as well if I remember rightly. I think it looks more dubious than it is this job, but it's really not. A 
come on. Oh, come on. Why? <laughs> I'm tight. Why, why are we not turning? I'll go, um... Full speed ahead. Warp factor 7, should we say? So warp factor 7. Nope, doesn't like it. I'll be going everywhere in those low gears because it will just drag it all out. There we go. Made back a little bit of the money we lost. On it, boss. I want them to go out and explore the maps and scout everything first. That is probably another reason why I use up maybe a little bit more fuel than other people that I've watched because they they go out, they do it, do a little like minimalist of scouting, and then they just get stuck in. But I think they know the maps better than me, so they're sort of pre-prepared for a lot of that sort of stuff. Whereas, like I said, I had. I had the whole scouting route for like the four maps planned out in my head and then forgot it. So it made no difference. So we've got a lost service trailer. Except that. Where is it? Just up in them hills. I mean, in their heroes will get that, and that'll be an easy job as well. We want to go get that upgrade from up there. Now, on our stream series, way back when, we went and got this with the. Um, with one of the Western stars from the, uh, from the Wolf Pack. It's got stuck on a freaking tree again. Come on. Yeah, we tried to climb to the peak afterwards and then we rolled. So we will be doing that again. Yeah, we tried to climb to the very peak. No, that would give us a shortcut, probably. That make it easier to get to there because I think that was what we were going to do. We're going to try and drive over the top and then drive down, but that's like a rocky, a rocky crag anyway. So we're not involved with that, right? It got dark all of a sudden, didn't it? That was that was sudden darkness. That. There isn't a trail around here, is there? Again, I get a lot of these places confused. I 
sure one of these one of these garages or warehouses we'll come across. Not garage. I keep saying garage. But one of these factories or warehouses or something we'll come across. And it will have a trailer down the back. I was going to say it could possibly be this one, but I don't think it is. This is just the uh, sawmill, this one. I think there's fuel around the back of this one, or a trailer of any sort. Just the trailer that we have to go and collect. It's just up here. Just up here. Hammer angles again. Love them. Love them. Cannot see anything thanks to it. Oh, done it again. Oh, it makes me feel so nauseous. It's like an instant sense of nauseated as soon as that camera starts flicking out of my control. I feel it right in the pit of my stomach. Should be a wee, wee through here, I think. We hope. Let's go take this one back. I don't think we're ever going to need it. Well, we probably will, but I'm not going to collect up service trailers. I mean, we've got parts. I'd, I'd like it, again, if you could use this to then restock. Like, I want to take some bits out and I want to restock what I've got because I've got space for so much. Don't think we've found a red spanner here, have we? I don't think there is one unless it's maybe unless there's one at the warehouse or one at this warehouse or something. Unless someone unless there's one somewhere. It'll be in another map, but it would be nice to be able to restock. Just paint some bits out. We're now making money off the episode. <laughs> so what's it got us doing now? Reach the radio station? We might be able to do that. We might be able to do that. We've got to hit the, uh, the watchtower first. Again, having the load star being able to pull those size trailers just, you know, 
does bring a level of convenience to it, but again, I don't think it looks wrong. It doesn't look out of place, it does look stupid. You should be able to pull a little curtain cider, a little tools trailer. Some people like to get the car and loaf with a a high hitch on the top of it and, and pull the special trailers that set up oil rigs and stuff, so, you know. It's not like I'm doing the worst things. And as I always say, everyone is free to play their own way. It's your game. You play it how you want. I just wanted to add mods in. Excuse me, I want to get comfortable in my chair. I wanted to add mods in uh, to try and make it different, to make it our own. Now, is this the bit? Uh, this is the bit of river I want to go up. There's something there, anyway, wasn't there? I think that might be the all pylons or something, or whatever it's called. I'll race down the flags. Let's. Four out there, I think. One, two. It's just the three. Oh, probably won't be doing that right away. Again, that one's easier than the other one. But. We got a little bit burned. No, we want to go up here. I think that's there. There's an upgrade. We might just come back for those, hit those, hit the points for Larky. We might just come back right at the end for that. Just so it doesn't stress me out too much with um, wasting money. Where is this up? I swear there's an upgrade up there. Is it not? Is it over there? It might be on the river behind me. Ah, there is. There we go. And that is uh, engageable diff lock. Yeah, for the Hummer. Again, probably not going to use it. But we want to try and collect up everything and do everything so you get them all upgrades like Pokemon you gotta catch them all around here is the warehouse and this does have a trailer of fuel it's a large trailer and I think it's pretty much empty if I remember correctly Let's have a tool repair, restock. Yeah, not a lot of fuel here, but we will take it nonetheless. So no no spare parts replenishments. Is there a shortcut across here at all? Not really. Unless I want to flip me truck. So we're sort of going to head back into the centre. We've got the warehouse, we've got the um, watchtower to hit as well.
Bouncy, bouncy. So from here, I want to go. Did I miss a turn in? Uh, sort of, yeah. We'll go that way. I don't think this is the direction they usually approach from here either. We shall take it. A little name getting in the way. Right. Just wanted to check they hadn't missed a little turn in or something. Since the uh, the marker was suddenly gone behind us. So look out point. That night sky. So that's everything pretty much uncovered. Apart from we got this one one garage. Gar I keep saying garage. I don't like you saying garage. Um, like a little warehouse type thing there. I think it's a factory. Obviously we haven't been down here yet. But we're going to go to the radio station. We just have to find it. I don't think we have to bring anything to it. Can I just hoss up there, do you think? I'd love a little shortcut if I can make it work. I think I can. I think we can go up here. It looks doable. Ooh, I don't know, them rocks, maybe not. Super speedy. Look at that. Lovely job. An extra 100. Oh, sorry, an extra 900. Might as well be 100. It's still under our 10 grand. No, we're not under 10 grand. Under 100 grand. We've got 92 grand. That was worrying, wasn't it? What? Less than 10 grand already? Um, you've clearly lived up to your reputation. Your contributions to science will not be forgotten, indeed. My skills are renowned for lacking. Um, we'll go back down that way as well. Actually. Don't need to mess about with the route if you don't have to. Not always the best idea, but you know what? We are also here for a bit of fun, aren't we? A bit of risk. Risk and reward, and the reward will be time and 10 litres of fuel. So next 
we want to go. We just pretty much want to go back to where we came. I think there'll be a bit of a chore to try and cut through there. Take, we'll take the take this route. We haven't done this route. It's a tight one. Squeeze this big boy through. back and try the jobby that screwed us but we won't I can show you the other the other route now though that was the one where we squeezed through and I told you I will eventually try and um, bring a trailer through whereas this is the route you're probably supposed to come with a trailer muddy. <laughs> We're alright with the load star, we can climb up on here. We've just got a trailer on with a bit of an embankment and set a load on there and what haves? Not so easy. Trust. That's where we um, rescued the car from a little while ago. So we'll just trigger. What's up here? I think this one wants spare parts. wooden planks to be fair we could do that we could put that little trailer that we have back at the garage on the back here we could get them wooden planks and do that just to open up that route and there's another one on the other side which I think was metal beams So, uh, do we have a? Uh, we've got a stock refill on the side. Is this one the? Is this one? Of course, why would I? Why would I reverse into the box? Or I could reverse around it. Um, trailer park. So that is going up there. That's just to find and locate that, and then once you're up here, there's a little job to load up and challenge to bring something down to the port. Stonefall, have we? we haven't triggered Stonefall, have we? No, right. But I can. Not sure there was a restock somewhere here. So if we got a lot of bits that we can not a lot of bits, we've got two bits that we can do. We're good, we're good, I think. So Stonefall was out this way. This is where we come and get some get our pipes later. Okay, we'll 
don't have a look. I don't want to. I mean, it's easy to do these. You can just. I mean, you can go up to Map Runner and it will tell you everything you need for each location anyway. But I don't like to use Map Runner, especially for a series that we're doing. So yeah, met one metal beam and two wood planks. We've cleared those tracks, and then with the cleared tracks, it would make it easier for us to get up there. Obviously, and we're going to go and quickly drive to that warehouse or that factory wherever it is not call it garage have that marked up as i said i don't think there's a an upgrade no we got an upgrade there so there won't be anyone nearby i think i'm getting picture of a in my head. I'm sure on Pedro Bay when we get there. Down one of the sides, there'll be a an upgrade like off in the area over there. But Pedro Bay wise. That's that's why I don't like to try and preempt the uh, the jobs and the contracts and stuff, because I get so confused anyway. There's no point in me trying to load up cargo for a job that I'm gonna do in ten episodes time just not that good and I'm not afraid to admit that I'm not that good it's like many games I'm never really the I'm never the best I'm never going to be the best at any of them but I just really enjoy playing most of them is, is this one the uh Pylons, power line check, yeah, that's the one. Has this got something around the back? I swear there is a factory or something with a trail around the back. There it is. I'm not even sure if this is for a mission or, or what. Always, always still in reverse. Always. It's becoming my thing. I don't know where I'm going to need this. So I'm just going to put it out on the road again. So then... Once we get an idea, I know where I need to pull it, or if I just drive past and collect it, or if it needs to be taken somewhere. And again, we will take a little tipple out of you. Make this kind. Just check the time. Oh, it's see the, the daylight changes on this map. It's different. So at 7 o'clock, it's still pretty dark. So I can't remember. I need to check just as it gets daylight, because I want to end at 7. Um, so this one may be like a minute or two shorter than standard. Um, because there's an hour less, which is like three minutes. Um, but yeah, we got our first roll out of the way here, but I, I anticipate quite a few rolls here. It is quite a troublesome terrain at time, especially when you have to go off track and um, hump over those sandy uh, sandy hills and mountains. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. I'm going to try and churn through some of these pretty quickly if I can if I get the time to record them because I want to really make some progress on here but you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon bye bye